This is the new device that I've been working on for the past couple of months. It's a sticker light driver as well as a 60 watt power bank. The first switch is to power on the device. You'll see a little blue LED here to let you know that it's turned on. The second switch powers this screen here. If for some reason looking at this indicator is bothering you, you can just flip this switch and it turns off. This is a specially designed cable made just for this device. You want to have this plugged into your sticker light first so you don't have any risk of touching these pins here which would be electrified when it's connected to the driver. So the first step is you plug this into your sticker light. Once that's plugged in, you can hook it up into the driver. We're doing all of this while the device is turned off just so to minimize the risk of you shocking yourself. So now we're going to turn it on. We'll have the indicator on as well. Powered on. So with the first dial, we can adjust the brightness. It gets a bit noisier when you maximize the brightness and it'll also generate more heat. Now to use the sound activated mode, it doesn't work that great. Well, it still kind of works, I guess, but it works better when you lower the voltage a bit. So 17 is good. This dial is for adjusting how sensitive the microphone is. All the way open, it's working pretty well, but as I turn it to the right, it's having more and more trouble detecting my voice. So depending on how loud the environment you're in is, you'll be able to figure out which sensitivity to put the dial at. It's kind of a learning process. This USB-C port is for charging it. To charge it, you just take a cable, hook it in there. You'll notice this blue LED just turned on when I plugged it in. That blue LED is telling you that the device is charging. Once this turns green, you'll know it's fully charged. You can use this device while it's charging. On the left here, you have two ports. It is loud, but it's kind of a trade-off that perhaps might not be so much of an issue if you're in a loud club environment. So it's not something to replace this, but rather something to supplement your capabilities depending on what environment you're in and what your needs and how bright you might need to have your sticker light be at any given time. If, for example, you're in broad daylight, uh, this might not be visible outside, but uh, these new devices will definitely be visible outside because they're ridiculously bright. And that's about it. Thank you.